In May 2013, some of the world's leading experts in daylight gathered at the 5th VLUX Daylight Symposium in Copenhagen to discuss and debate the use of daylight when creating the sustainable buildings of tomorrow. But what makes daylight so important that 300 experts have to spend two days discussing it? The answers from the experts are clear. Why is daylight important? It's, it's a source of life. It's the stuff of which uh, the entire world works, the entire world exists. One of the things we've learned is that if we don't have enough daylight or we don't expose ourselves enough to it, we actually hurt ourselves. Daylight is important uh, for uh, a number of reasons from, from, uh, from the perspective of health. Um, it uh, is known now to be an antidepressant, if you like. It, it helps people with uh, 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 seasonal depression and if the light levels are high enough, and it helps people recover from illness, and uh, it, it, it kills germs and bacteria in buildings. But daylight brings more benefits than improving our health. It also has a positive effect on our productivity and efficiency. The productivity and health depend upon three things. The primary one element that determines all human health is light. We know from a lot of previous studies that daylight does have a big impact on, on how people behave and how people feel. And, and there, there are schemes that have achieved between a 10 and even a 20% increase in productivity. And if you actually translate that into, into money terms, in terms of people's salary, then that starts to be a, hu a huge number, far bigger in financial terms than the energy saving. One of the main topics at the symposium was the renovation of old buildings, an issue that experts say is more relevant today than ever before. Existing buildings are the, are the, are the main concern and uh, it's important that if they are made energy efficient, if the energy efficiency of the buildings improves, then that doesn't have a negative impact on health. It's one thing to take a building that's, that's a brand new state-of-the-art building in New York or London or or Kuwait or some place where the funding is there and everything else. But what about the average warehouse in, in Des Moines, Iowa, or in Frankfurt, or some other place? That's where the real, the real energy savings are going to change this world are going to come from.